Oh, wow, we are way tougher right now. Look at that. It got decimated. That's fantastic. I, li I like the progress, guys. What's up, guys? It's 10 Kush, and we are back with a named space idol, and we are doing core computing challenge right now. The it flashed green and decided that we need to do it. And I decided to do it as well. So our compute is going pretty strong right now. And we are at sector 4 already like the final area and yeah it's really easy let's continue maybe we can clear sector 16 because it doesn't seem hard our tier 2 weapons are already upgraded to the required level i will upgrade the shields now to gain extra bonuses let's go there we go nice and the enemy seems to be one shot at anyway so it's not a serious issue let's see how the boss of this area will do it's been really easily destroyed so i think we should be able to win sector 16 no problem i am surprised why it flashed green just now if we are that strong my god we're just decimating them all so let's upgrade a little bit more of gatling gun and beam laser for extra dps and just enjoy the massacre so here is sector 16 boss i'm going in with the same preset i used for my run so double uh, lasers gatling laser and beam lasers with laser cannons as a support and the boss is defeated let's continue if we can clear one more level we will get one more reward why the hell not and now since the computing is stronger we're getting more multipliers for our damage i mean for the salvage income so we can use it for better production i actually put the devices that i could here for extra compute speed there are two actually and it works really well i guess that's what saved me right now so yeah if i pick those up do i actually get anything no no i don't so yeah the enemies have been massacred no problem now we get another boss let's go so the beam is ready we that's too easy again Oh, the boss is doing insane damage, that's true, but we are doing so many challenges in one go and we are at challenge 7 right now. Core computing is just going through this so easily. Our compute power is getting stronger and stronger. We need to upgrade the shields actually, so we would be able to survive the hits of the bosses. So sector 18, let's see how this boss will be for us. I think we won't be able to beat this guy already it's uh, a bit too tough and also come on yeah it just one shots us the problem we can truly boost damage and shields here but overall we made a crazy progress here right now for the compute power so now we're getting way more computations for less yeah if we could only nah we won't be able to do this well that was nice run fast one as well it took me like four minutes to get three or four challenges done so yeah, let's go prestige and go back to normal gameplay. I actually needed this because my bases gave me crazy boost to DPS and other stats. So now, if I'll go with my basic build, I will become way better than before. And our new ship, so our destroyer with the full laser build, while I was away, managed to push through two levels. <laughs> I was at level 41 farming and then I uh, ended up at level 43 just like that. So it's pretty powerful build, let's put it like that. Moreover, uh, I figured out that after all the upgrades, look at that, we can get two bonuses for base level 2, so we can get the next tier of weapons and we can also get, uh, what will it do? void power bonus here and we get extra slots on reset and we can do a lot of upgrades here and how long till this one three hours still starting at the base too we don't really need that right now but that's one of the options that we can get so now our boost of uh, reactor is way higher let's turn this one off bam even higher bonus nice our warp core is almost full and honestly even though we're at sector 43 alpha max difficulty is kept at 41 so sadly i don't think that we can do anything about that anymore at least at this point i hope there will be upgrades that will allow us to make it better so yeah while all the upgrades are being done all the synth upgrades are being done we can do the small prestige over here let's actually suit up for a different type of production so we'll get this so we'll be able to get the materials and for the v device i would like to put those things away and get we got the new salvage thing so we need to get a lot of salvage in order to do the retrofit for tier 3 weapons so let's go so yeah while we just get an extra stuff right now before doing the 
reset let's enable tier 3 equipment so the difference in the damage will be significant take a look at that bam Woo! how many times it's it's way higher i don't know how many times higher is that and uh, the upgrade is expensive but it's not as expensive it's not insane i think we'll be able to get something out of it so yeah also i would switch from synth station to the research station that will allow me to get more research points and i think it's time for that so yeah everything switched to tier 3 let's get our last bonuses here i want to get the combo right now so we will get the void matter bonus over here and then we'll get the salvage again uh when we collect that we will do the retrofit after that so we can get more upgrades straight away also i'm not sure how far we can upgrade the laser cannons because we need at least this tier of upgrade in order to get all the benefits it might be wise to leave them at level 2 so we'll get all the benefits available for us and invest the money into those two tours but we will see right now i'll get tier 3 and see what we do we get after that there we go so that's the combo that will give you the most amount of salvage you get this thing and then collect all the remains and there we go we got 2e28 salvage that's actually pretty crazy so there we go we're done so let's do the retrofit we could do prestige as well but i don't want to build up again and go somewhere so we'll just get that let's make sure that everything is right yeah research synth station retrofit yes core so our maximum upgrade will be 50 it's not that great as i expected so yeah probably we would be better off oh our damage is actually pretty decent and we are getting way more shields right now yeah our shields are way tougher right now so that might allow us to push further moreover as we farm a bit more of those resources we should be able to afford more upgrades we need at least tracking but it's better to get this tier of upgrades because those are fantastic so let's switch the research to salvage gain here and focus on material research instead of material there we go so we will get the research shard over here our research will be high and we will be able will it be high enough should be so yeah it will basically increase the amount of our salvage gained i hope let's see if our power will be enough to take out the local boss because last time i managed to do some minor damage to it but in the end it managed to kill me in two shots right now i want at least to compare how many shots we can take from the boss since we got stronger as well that might be interesting so let's give it a go here is the boss here is our ship oh wow we are way tougher right now look at that it got decimated huh sector 24 uh 44 and we're getting the new shard here that's fantastic i like i like the progress guys i wasn't expecting that it will happen that soon and the fact that we got to the next level increased our research which in turn gave us more resources for the salvage gain so we will be able to grow our cores a bit faster right now and by the way at the end of this level we will get the new type of shield and uh, it's pretty possible to achieve after some farming so we can get more oh there we go so we can get more of those upgrades that will give us way better amount of laser power boost so this effect will be stronger and uh our fire rate will be higher and all that stuff so yeah will be neat to have it and at this point we can go back to sector 40b and take out this boss and unlock additional warp before doing that we would like to go to each warp and max out the uh, level because when we unlock it i think we will reset our warps and this one is almost full so yeah let's go and take out the weak warps get more multipliers get more upgrades and everything so pushing the warps now so yeah we are at difficulty 43.5 and the enemies have been one shattered with most weapons so it's way stronger than it was before and now we can just dominate them that feels really nice and even in sector 44 the enemies still can't do anything they're still being defeated they're a bit tougher right now but not as tough as they were before so yeah we managed to go so far and that increase our multiplier our damage our shields and a lot of essence that we can do in our upgrades bar i think we can even beat this one because their lasers they can do that much damage to our newly upgraded shields i like that but yeah sector 45 is as far as we can push 44.5 to be 
exact. And after that, man, it's getting really tough. Let's try upgrading the weapons a bit more. And shields, maybe that will help. Well, probably not. They are way too tough. And even here, we have some minor hiccups. So, yeah, we will move all our warps over there. And then unlock additional warp to get even more progression. So, really, we will get a lot stronger after that. All right, so there we go. We got some additional upgrades for our weapons. So... They will get 2.3 multiplier. And I want to get the same one for the shields, if I can. <laughs> Not all of those will fit. Oh, that was sad. And I think now with those bonuses, we can move forward and probably we can reach the next area. Because our weapon damage should be way higher right now. Oh yeah, by the way, we actually did the gamma warp. It was pretty fun. Those guys have armor and shield. So those are like hybrid enemies and i have to spend points for the upgrades here oh i can afford this improvement let's go oh no i need wait one fire rate movement mq1 oh i need this but in order to get this i will need to finish this first all right there we go almost there almost there if we'll do some more warps which are the weakest one there's only one left that we haven't did oh Okay, we got the boss here. Let's see. Let's get extra cores and everything. And shield regen. And come on. We can do this. Bam. We unlock the prestige bonus. We got the deflector shield. Resource refinery. What the hell is that? So yeah, normal enemies and elite enemies here. We don't want elite enemies. In the sector data, we finished everything before. We managed to go through this sector. And now we are going forward again. We don't get any new stuff. Oh. The enemies are tough here. We don't get any new stuff over here. So, yeah, nothing we can do about that. We got the normal enemies. So, we need to switch this one to cool damage to the pink area. But before that, I want to upgrade the shields a bit. So, deflector shields can completely negate hits. They don't provide traditional shields, but instead will be able to stop hits occasionally. They have charge that will build up over time and deflect a hit if it's over a certain percentage of your shields. Additionally, each hit you will take will serve to build up a bonus proc if you have any of the bonus build up stat, uh, next hit is deflect automatically without using a charge. So, the idea of those shields that you can get one of those and totally negate powerful one-shot hits, I guess. Recharge time is 11 seconds, so it's basically once per boss fight. I'm curious how good is that. I guess that will be really good for uh, some sort of glass cannon build, where we are going in against powerful enemies that are one-shotting us. So those shields will be good for that. I need to try them a bit later. So with the newfound power, we can't really get anything else that will help us right now. It's too expensive. We can do some crazy research bonuses here. That's what we are trying to do right now. We can go to the warp drive area and actually upgrade the warp drive option that we have right now because we got some upgrades and we should be able to go through more difficult. It's working pretty well, so we can do at least one level increase per warp because the enemies are falling down quite easily and they can't really do that much against us. Also, we can switch those that will double our damage and make everything even better so maybe if we will put them here with increased shield damage it should be even easier and we can get this one for improved range so we can defeat them before they come close to us so maybe we can do two runs per area so yeah one additional level that's two runs per area and that's pretty great if you ask me that will allow us to get this multiplier higher for quite a lot and get even more essence. Actually, if we get this right now, do we have enough? We need one E7, so we need to do another run and then we will unlock additional upgrade that will give us 15% fire rate tick rate that's actually pretty powerful and then we can get battle improvements that will give us 50 percent damage and shields should be great right okay this isn't going well so we will manually activate this that will give us 25 percent more damage for the laser boost sadly still no hotkeys why give me a hotkey one two three four for those so i can use the buttons in order to wait am i dead oh we're done with the warp okay no yeah, give me ability to use the buttons so I don't have to point my hands there and everything. That will be more convenient. So we already encountered the issues. They are way too tough. Can we optimize our 
shield damage here. Not much. Oh well, we can be perfect. But I think for this level, we might want to switch with some deflector shields. There are no tiers for them, so they don't count for those upgrades and everything. And I don't know how many of those do I need. One or two. But that powerful dude is definitely going to be deflected. Another thing, the other enemies have been killed pretty easily. And the boss in sectors 45 will have a 2 fire rate and 10 charge time and crazy damage that we will never be able to tank. So I guess we need to get a deflector shield for that area. The next unlock is resource refinery. I have no idea what's that in sector 48. So I will get two deflector shields right now. Do the retrofit because I can. And uh, we will see how it will go from there because it's interesting. I really want to see how they are, how do you upgrade them and all that. We can do two upgrades per shield. Oh, the lack of resources again. So how can we set up the deflector shields? We can set them up. That will deflect the attacks that are more powerful than percentage of our shields. So anyone who can one shot us basically will be deflected and that's actually pretty cool. That might work for that next area, but first we will need to do some upgrades for our build because those normal attacks, they will not be deflected and we have only one shield to protect us right now, which is not enough. Probably one deflector shield would be enough to be honest because that's why we have this type of ship that have three shield slots, but I wanted to max it out and see how it will go. We can set one of the deflector shields actually to like... 20% of our health done so it will work when the enemies will be strong enough to do decent damage so yeah in this area it actually works we just need to do some more upgrades so we will be able to take out stronger enemies but now bam this attack doesn't one shot us anymore and two shields work really well here if we'll be able to defeat the enemies before they get too close to the normal attacks and we will because we just need to place this item over here but in order to do that we need to remove this one so we need to get enough salvage right now to upgrade stuff we are there so yeah we can definitely say that now tier three weapons pushed us a long way so we started at sector 41 we managed one two three sectors and we end up in sector 45a we managed to do a lot of warp drives and insane amount of upgrades and upcoming upgrades are even better so uh yeah it was a really good step up right now we need to farm get stronger and see what comes next we need a lot of farming yeah so yeah guys let me know what do you think of this video down below in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe your subs and comments help to promote the video in youtube algorithms and thank you very much for watching check out the description for the playlist with other episodes and my other youtube channels thank you very much for watching it's been stan kosh have a good one bye